So it's interesting because in 2024, your particular iPhone 13 is actually going to end up changing quite a bit. Now we don't see this every single year and we don't even see this every other year. When a brand new iPhone comes around, let's just call it the iPhone 13, you're usually going to be getting a very good phone for many, many years after that thing is, you know, released and actually supported with software. But the thing with the iPhone 13 in this day and age is that we're actually going to be getting an iPhone this year that is actually going to end up kind of having a little bit, not of an issue, but it's going to be kind of getting a limited release of software next year. So our iPhone 13 is set to release. So iOS 18 is set to release around June of this particular year. But what's going to happen and what's going to be very interesting is that our iPhone 13 is actually going to end up kind of getting somewhat of a limited release of software on iOS 19. With iOS 18, we're still good. We don't really have too much to kind of worry about here. But with iOS 18, our iPhone 13 could end up being the stopgap or a kind of like the baseline iPhone for our particular device. Now, what does this mean? Well, with this particular device, you have to remember with these types of devices, our iPhones can last a very long amount of time. They're going to be supported for a long period of time too. Last year, our iPhone 12 was the cutoff point, meaning that if you were going through and if you were buying this type of device, you were going to go ahead and get an iPhone that was, you know, still getting almost all the features that our flagship phone was getting at that time. The same thing with the iPhone 11 the year before. If you were buying that type of iPhone, you were getting a device that was still going to be, you know, supportive for software, supported with all this stuff, but it's not going to be getting, it's going to be getting almost all the features of our flagship. Now, this year, the iPhone 12 and iPhone 11 are not going to be getting all the cool little like flagship features that our current iPhone is going to be getting. The iPhone 13 is going to be that cutoff point. So this is a pretty big thing because now if you're wanting to go ahead and purchase one of these iPhones like the iPhone 13, this year, luckily, our iPhone is going to be getting almost all the features of, you know, iOS, you know, 18, which is nice. But next year, but this is going to be the last year that ends up happening. Most probably next year, our iPhone 13 is not going to be getting all the cool little features that our flagship iPhones are going to be getting. That's going to be suited for the iPhone 14. So that's going to be something that's actually going to be very, very sad to see because now we're going to be stuck in this weird situation where the iPhone 13 hardware wise is still very good. Like it's a very good supported iPhone from that you know particular standpoint, but we're just not going to be getting all those cool features that our main iPhones are going to be getting. So our iPhone 13 is going to be changing this year because it's going to be the last time potentially that this iPhone is going to be getting those types of cool features that our main iPhones were getting from like, you know, last year and the year before. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.